I didn't plan on making this video, but surprisingly a lot of people were very skeptical regarding my previous video in which I mentioned why the price of XRP is not going to uh, cross 100 to 1000 dollar mark by the end of this year. But it seems that um, a lot of people had a lot of questions even though I can't directly uh, reply to all of them. So I decided, you know what, let me just get all those questions and kind of reply to most of them here. And in this video, I will give you exact reasons why the price is not crossing that insane number. Hello guys, this is Farhan Hussain and welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new to my channel, I, tr I try to give out an informed opinion regarding a lot of cryptocurrencies and especially regarding XRP because that is one of my favorite uh, cryptos out there and the one that I'm personally invested in. But at the same time, I try to not have this unrealistic crazy expectations and that's why in my previous video, I kind of called out a lot of these other YouTubers who are making these insane price predictions saying it's going to reach a hundred, a thousand dollar plus by the end of this year. And in my previous video, I kind of addressed that. But a lot of comments on those uh, on that video were surprisingly very skeptical saying that I don't really know and I'm not giving good information or no, it is reaching this. And a lot of people are saying that it is going to touch four digit marks. XRP is going to touch four digits uh, by the end of this year. So. I thought, wait, you know what, instead of uh, replying one by one, I thought, you know, I'll make a video and I'll try to answer a lot of those questions in this video. And also in the video, I did not give out uh, very clear reasons why it's not increasing because in my previous videos, besides the last one, I have talked a lot about it. So I thought people would watch that, but I think a lot of people did not. So in this video, I'm going to be kind of compiling them and giving it out to you. Let's directly dive into the video and let me give out the reasons why those videos which are being pumped out, giving out false informations are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the first reason, basic principles of economics and second, simple mathematics. Let's start off with simple mathematics. I think it's something everybody can easily understand and it is also and it also relates to the basic principles of economics. So in our case, we are trying we are talking about the price of XRP. So what exactly is the price of XRP? Well, it is the market cap divided by the number of total XRP in existence and we get the price. So if we do the math, uh, you will see on the screen right now, uh, market cap divided by the number of XRP and you get the price of today, which is around $0.27. So now that we have a basic formula, uh, we can see what the market cap has to be for the price to reach that certain number and why after this you will realize why those videos are going to sound absolutely ridiculous. Uh, in this formula, there is one thing constant and that is the number of XRP. I'm going to leave it constant even though it's uh, going to increase because uh, Ripple has mentioned that every month they release 1 billion XRP from their escrow, but I'm not going to include that in. Uh, even if I did, the number would be even lower. The price would be even uh, lower, but I'm going to keep it constant to give you a better understanding. So let's do that. So you want the price to be $100, right? So let's do the math behind it. So let's do a uh, price, which we know that we want it to be $100 multiplied by the total number of XRP and we'll get the total market cap which you can see on the screen which is around $4.3 trillion which is an absolutely absurd amount. To put that into perspective, besides United States, uh, China and Japan, it would be the fourth largest country in the world if XRP had its own economy and not just that it's like bigger than India, Germany, pretty much a lot of the countries besides those top three countries in the world. And you can start seeing that how absurd this number is and how much XRP has to achieve. And for this also to happen, if you look at the economic side of uh, this, Ripple has to start uh, getting pretty much almost every single bank in the world to start working with them, which as you know, has not happened. It's not happened. Uh, I know you saw a previous video in which said uh, which said that um, by another YouTuber. I'm not gonna name that person, but he said that the uh, Ripple has already replaced the financial system, which is as you can see, totally absurd. Also, to give you an another idea how absurd that amount is, I'm just talking about the low hundred dollar, which uh, some of these videos are pumping out. Uh, the total market cap of the entire cryptocurrency world is two hundred twenty-five billion. For XRP to reach that hundred dollar uh, mark, 
uh, the entire uh, XRP would have to be bigger, not just by a small amount, by up to 20 times the amount, uh, more than 20 times the amount of the entire crypto world. So as you can see, that number is starting to sound uh, insane. Let's not just stop there. Some of those comments were talking about how the price of XRP has to touch the four digit mark, which means more than a thousand dollars. The price of an XRP would be more than a thousand dollars. First of all, if that happens, I'm quitting. I'm going to be in Hawaii enjoying my time because as you know, I'm already an investor in XRP. Well, to put that into perspective, the market cap of XRP would be around $43 trillion dollars which is pretty much uh, the biggest, it will be the highest in the world in terms of GDP if uh, XRP had its own economy, not just that, it will be pretty much more than the entire world combined. Uh, not only that, the market cap of XRP would have to be bigger than the S&P 500, which means the top 500 biggest companies in United States, uh, which have a total market cap of $25 trillion, which is about, what would, uh, XRP would have to be twice that S&P 500. So as you can see, the numbers are starting to get ridiculous and if even after this you still think that XRP is touching a thousand dollar, a hundred dollar mark, uh, I really don't know what to say to you. And a lot of people in the comment section were comparing uh, the price of Bitcoin to the price of XRP. They were saying, look, uh, when, X, uh, when Bitcoin was initially launched, it was around $0.5. Look at it now, it's touched ten thousand dollars and in back in 2017 it was twenty thousand dollars yes you are correct but there is a major fault in this you see as i talked about the basic principles of economics you have to look at the supply of each the supply of xrp currently stands at 17 million while the supply uh, sorry the supply of bitcoin stands at currently 17 million while the supply of xrp currently stands at 43 billion you can see there is a huge disparity between the two and it's like comparing apple to oranges you can't really do that because the supply of one is much much higher than the other one the supply of xrp is much higher than the other one and at the end if you compare the end goal the end of bitcoin there will be a total of 21 million bitcoins by the time it is completely finished mining and by the time all of xrp is released uh, there will be around 100 billion xrp so you can see there's a huge huge uh, difference so the entire point of this video was to give you an idea on how absurd uh, these videos are coming out from different YouTubers who are claiming such a ridiculous uh, price prediction and also to answer a lot of uh, questions in my previous video uh, regarding the prices of uh, why XRP is not touching 100 to $1,000 plus. And even after this, you still believe that the price of XRP uh, is going to cross a $100 mark or a $1,000 mark by the end of this year. Well, I don't really know what to uh, say to you, but besides, good luck. The reason why I make uh, these type of videos kind of talking about other YouTubers who are giving out uh, crazy price predictions is to give my subscribers a good informed decision so that they're not putting out their hard-earned money into a certain cryptocurrency thinking that it is going to just go ridiculously high in the coming months or in the coming years and they're going to be rich overnight. The people who were uh, who, who got really rich overnight were those people back in 2017 when the prices of all the cryptocurrencies were ridiculously uh, low. Uh, to give you an idea, the price of XRP back then at the start of 2017 was less than one cent. So even compared to that, the price of XRP is still doing a really great. And I, in my own personal opinion, if you have been following me for quite some time, you would know that I am kind of very bullish on XRP. And I think that the price of XRP is going to increase. But at the same time, I want to be realistic. I don't want to have, I don't want to give out uh, information saying that, look, the price is touching $10, $100, $1,000 within this time frame. I used to do it at the very initial of my YouTube, but I've completely stopped because I want to give a very informed uh, advice or informed uh, information to a lot of my subscribers. In my upcoming video, I will be giving out a price prediction for XRP, but a more realistic one. I don't want to give out an absurd one and to a lot of people it might seem a really low number, but that's what I would think and um, that will be my upcoming video. I'll give out more information. Uh, in that video on why I think the price of XRP will touch a certain number. So if you want to know that, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. And 
let me know in the comment section what you think about today's video or what do you think about these crazy price predictions that we are getting uh, recently let me know in the comment section i do read pretty much uh, all of the comments and um, i will see you next time